In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Earth with an orbiting moon in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so first of all, um, I got a an Earth map. I just looked online and I found an Earth map, which looks like this. Okay, so basically what we're going to do first is we're going to create a new composition. And we're going to make it 1200 by 720, 40 seconds. And let's make it black. All right, so first what we want to do is we want to create our star field. So the way that we're going to do that is using fractal noise. So we're going to now we're going to go to our new solid, add a, a noise and grain fractal noise. Okay, and then so. First, what we want to do here is bring the contrast up, bring the brightness down, and so see how that's starting to give us like a star effect. So that looks pretty good. All right, so we have our stars. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our assets, which is going to be our Earth mask and our moon mask so we're going to go to file import file and i got a, a earth map from the internet okay so it looks just like that and so we're going to want to place the moon the earth map above the stars all right so there we have our earth map and we're going to want to go to effects and presets while we have our earth map selected so then you're going to type in cc sphere and you're going to drag it onto your earth map let's make it like that All right, and now we're going to want to bring in like a cloud layer so it's this one here looks like that all right, so I got that also off the internet. So that we're going to drag in and we're going to put it above our earth layer, scale it down, and then let's go a little closer. Okay, so now we're going to also bring in, we're going to sphere size that. And so as you see, we're going to have to change the scale all right we want it to be just a little bigger than our earth all right so there we go so now what we want to do is we're gonna want to so just we'll bring our opacity down so that you can see the earth underneath because this is just going to be the cloud layer you know to around like 50 or so 45. All right, so we got our atmosphere and we got our planet. Now we're going to bring in the moon. So I did the same thing. So I'm just going to go over here to my project file and I'm going to bring in my moon map, which let's so I'll just bring that in just the same way. And there's your moon, and we're going to sphere size the moon too. And we're going to want to just press S to bring the scale. And we're going to scale it down. All right, we're going to want to go over here. And we'll say it's like that big. Okay. So there we got our moon and we got our earth. All right, so now what we want to do is we're going to take, we're going to make our, we're going to make our earth map 3D. Earth clouds 3D and the moon 3D. All 
All right, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a new layer and we're going to add a camera. We'll use the preset 24 millimeters. Click OK. And then so we have an active camera there now. We're going to click over here and in, instead of active camera, we're going to look at it from the top. There's the Earth and there's the Moon. So as you can see, yeah, the Earth and the Moon are both in the same exact field. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring the Moon down. We'll bring it to like right here. And then so if we click back on active camera, now we're going to orbit our moon around. So we're going to go, we're going to highlight our moon and then we're going to go to position or you could just hit P on your keyboard and that'll bring a position. And then we're going to hit the keyframe so that it creates a keyframe. Make sure that we're at zero and create a keyframe. So I'm going to go up to my 10 seconds. And then I'm going to move my moon over. And it'll just go out of the scene a little bit and, and out. So there's our moon. So see, so there's our moon rotating. All right, so now we want to go back to our top view and go down a little bit. And we're going to click on the moon. And then we're going to go to our 20 second mark. So at our 20 second mark, we're going to want to go, we're going to want to bring it down. And then we're going to want to bring it over to like here. And then we're going to go to our 30 second mark and we're going to bring it over and down. And then our 40 second mark, we're going to want to make sure that it's the same it's at the same position to where it was in the beginning. So we can go back to our zero frame, hit control R for rulers. And then we're going to bring down a ruler right to that point right there and bring this ruler over right to that point right there. Okay, so there now we can go over to our 40 second mark and we're going to bring down our moon, bring it over where it was when we first started. Okay, so now let's go to our active camera and let's see what we got. So see how the moon is orbiting around. All right, so we got that going. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want our Earth to rotate. So we're going to go over here to our Earth clouds and go to rotation. And we're going to go to our zero point on our timeline and we're going to want to rotate the Y so we're going to click on keyframe to create a keyframe and so we're going to then go to the end uh, to our 40 second mark and right here in the times I'm going to put two times which means it's going to rotate uh, twice in our with throughout our timeline our atmosphere is going to rotate twice and then so we want to do is then go to our earth and we're going to go to the rotation same thing with the Y we're going to go to zero point and we're going to create a keyframe then we're going to go over to our 40 second point and we're going to hit one time because we want the earth just to rotate one time and the atmosphere is going to rotate twice around so the earth will be rotating slower than the atmosphere and let's see what we got
So that's pretty cool. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add, we can add a glow to uh, our clouds. We could go to effect, uh, stylize, glow. And then we're going to want to apply it to the alpha channel. And for the color of our glow, we can make it like a light blue, like a sky light blue. And then click OK. And we can just then just mess with like the intensity. The radius. So let's see if we can have a glow going. So let's see about our stars. Let's try to rotate. We want to like get a little movement to our stars. So let's go over here to our stars and let's make that a 3D image. Like we could bring it out like this and click P for position. And we're going to create a keyframe. All right. And then we're going to go to the end. And we'll bring the Z down a little bit so it looks like the stars are moving this way a little bit. And they could even move this way a little bit. Okay, so then let's see what we got. So there it is, the Earth, the moon going around the Earth. You could render it, check my render files. Bam! Thanks for watching, like my videos, and subscribe to my channel.